everybody. I wanted to show you today. This is the cutest little arts and crafts project I have made in a long time. Lately, I've been on this recycling kick. So, I had all these extra tin cans. And, of course, you know I have my honeybees. So, I put these little cans together to make little yard ornaments. And they came out so cute. I've seen these in the store and they're a little pricey, but the way I made them, they're really easy, super simple, and fun to do. So I hope you'll enjoy them. So now, on with the show and the how-to. Thanks! Okay, so today I'm going to show you the cutest, cutest, cutest little arts and crafts project. I made Bumblebee! Bumblebees, honeybees from recycled cans or, you know, just from empty cans. Um, I had, uh, when I got my honeybees, um, there were these cans that come with sugar water. Long story. And I didn't want to just throw them out. So I said, why not? Let's see what I can do with them. So this is a really easy, slightly easy craft project. And I say... Slightly easy because you got to kind of put all, have all your supplies together. But what I did was I haven't finished the faces, which is fine, but I had a bunch of oversized googly eyes. So I just glued the, well, let's go back a step. I took the cans and I painted them yellow. Okay. And I actually had some electrical tape left over from another project so what I did and of course I don't have my scissors handy um I have to edit this oops camera is crooked cheapers Gave up. Okay, we're getting it together. <laughs> Still rolling. Okay, so you want to spray paint your tin can and let it dry. And yeah, there's some holes in the back of this, which I guess... I could put the bee's eyes on there, but that might, that's a possibility. I haven't tried that, but that would look a little weird. Okay, anyway. But if you're going to leave these outside, I recommend you probably taking some of your electrical tape and just covering those holes up. Why? Because you don't want any insects making a home in there, or you don't want water collecting on the inside of the can. Because that can breed other insects that you may not want in your garden or in your yard. So, boom. Closed up the holes. Not a problem. So then, just take your electrical tape. And what you want to do is make three, three bands. So it looks like a bee. Or you could use spray paint. And the more I kept trying with spray paint, I just couldn't get it to work. Because if you paint it yellow and then you want to do black paint, black stripes, then you got to, you know, mark off the sections for that. So that's a lot. That's way more work than is needed. But I just look for where the can is, has like a seam. And I just start there. And I just wrap around the can now you can do you can do two uh layers of the tape or not it's up to you and they have this tape at the dollar store so you can get some there and just easy peasy just bring it around and put that there Oops, and there goes my phone. 
of course it rings in the middle of filming. Okay, so that's row number, you got your two bands on there. So we're gonna start a third band. Okay, and just gonna take your tape and go all the way around. Boom. That's it. You got your three bands on there. And, of course, I didn't do a good job because I was filming. But, so I left a little piece open there. And I'm going to take that and cover it. Oops, dropped the tape. But anyway, so you get the idea. Three rings of black electrical tape. And you want to get your googly eyes. And these were relatively inexpensive. And you just want to put them on your can, wherever you want them to go. And we're going to put those down with some glue. But I'm going to set this aside for right now because I know you know how to do that part. And I'm going to show you how I did the wings because that was the most crazy part for me to try to like figure out how to get wings on there that are gonna withstand being outdoors again i went to the dollar store and they had black placemats made out of relatively thick um uh, plastic so the plastic placemats that's all that this is and because i got a cricket machine i used my cricket and i cut out they're kind of like heart shapes and they do a great job for the bee wings, right? Looks really cool. Now you could fancy it up a little bit more, put glitter on it, all kinds of things. Um, that would be super fun. Uh, what I will try to do for those of you who are interested on my Etsy shop, I will try to put the pattern as a digital download for these little wings if you want. Oh. And then last but not least, I put a hole in the bottom and I just took a nail and a hammer and I just made a hole in the bottom. Actually, I also used my drill a little bit. Now that's actually really sharp. So you want to be careful working with these cans because you don't want to cut yourself. And I had some leftover garden stakes from another project. And all I'm going to do is just put these, just put run that right through so now I can take this outside, into the yard, into the garden, and I can just set it out there. And it's going to look really cute. I need to add some more details, like a little mouth and, you know, that's maybe a little nose. And I guess I could do multiple layers of wings. But I like this one really cute as it is. And I'm going to finish up this whole set. And I'm going to put them outside in the yard. And I think it's going to look super cute. Especially because uh, they're bright and nice and real easy to make. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know this was like one of the shortest tutorials I did. But it's su this is a super easy, fun project. And thank you for watching. And take care. Bye. Bzz, 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 bzz. Boo.